Hey friends, Jen here, and this is a happy bit. In this happy bit, I want to share five empowering phrases that I like to share with my kids, and I thought you might like to share with yours as well. I like them because they run the gamut from teaching your kids to be kind, teaching them how to set boundaries and make choices, to teaching them to be confident about themselves. So the first one is a quote from Maya Angelou, and it goes like this. People won't remember what you said. People won't remember what you did, but people will remember how you made them feel. This is important because it teaches kids to focus on kindness, energy, emotions, empathy, compassion. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. It matters how you make people feel. And a lot of times in our logic-driven society, we forget feelings matter. How are we going to help others feel? How are we feeling ourselves? This focus on feeling is so helpful. One, one, one more time. People won't remember what you said. People won't remember what you did. They'll only remember how you made them feel from Maya Angelou. The second one is another quote. This one from Eleanor Roosevelt. I know you've heard it before, but I love to quote it. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Now, I like to expand this one and help to teach my kids that no one can make you feel anything without your consent. Nobody can make you feel angry. Nobody can make you feel frustrated. Nobody can make you feel sad. So often in life, we'll go through our days thinking that so-and-so made us feel something. They made me sad. Sally made me mad. My brother made me angry. And I teach my kids over and over again, and I hope it sinks in one day, that Nobody can make you feel anything without your consent. Feelings are a choice. Yes, the initial feeling will come across your brain with a a, a flare of energy, but we have a choice there. We can keep thinking about it or we can step back and become the observer of ourselves and the observer of our emotions and just watch it happening and allow ourselves to feel it so that energy moves through us more quickly. And then we can come back to that calm, peaceful feeling we love. Nobody can make us feel anything without our consent. We have a choice here. Okay, number three is all about what we think about ourselves and our perceptions of what others are thinking about us. Kids often care what others think, especially when they shift into the teenage years. They spend a lot of time worrying what other people think of them. Well, this quote is really cool because... It's from Wayne Dyer. He said, what other people think of you is none of your business. (laughs) Isn't that great? What other people think of you is none of your business. Oftentimes we'll spend our lives having a perception that someone doesn't like us, a perception that someone's mad at us, a perception that someone thinks we're lame and it's all in our heads. What they think of us is none of our business. Our whole life experience is happening in our own minds. So we just as well fill it with a thought that, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Yeah, people like me. Yeah, that person over there, he must like me. Why assume they don't like you? We can create whatever story we want in our minds. We just as well assume they do like us, that everyone likes us. And the funny thing is, when we believe that, our energy will match. People will actually like us more often than not. So what other people think of us is none of our business. Wayne Dyer. The fourth one relates to choice and making powerful choices. I like to help kids recognize that saying no to one thing often allows us to say a more powerful yes to something else. For us as women, for example, we often have the opportunity to help out and we might help through the PTA. We might say yes because, you know, we should help, but then we're missing out on a more powerful yes, which might have been going to lunch with a friend that is, that's in town that would fill our cups more than anything else we could have done. So I like to teach kids to really get heart-centered and think about what would be the best choice here, thinking about good, better, and best. Saying no is okay sometimes because it often allows them to say a more powerful yes. Finally, number five. This one is from Elizabeth Gilbert, or the concept is from her book, Big Magic. And that is this, all good things are on the other side of fear. It is so important we teach our kids to go after those things that scare them. I firmly believe for myself and for our kids, 
all good things are on the other side of fear. It's scary to join that sports team. It's scary to be in debate and to perform your solo at the music ensemble contest. It's scary, but all good things are on the other side of fear. The quicker we can teach our kids to jump in and do the things that scare them, the better their lives will be because all good things are on the other side of fear. Now, a bonus, a bonus I want to share. I said there were five, but one more. What does your heart say? This is a question. What does your heart say? So often we make decisions with our logic and don't pause to consider what's our intuition, our heart, our higher self telling us. And to help kids get in touch with this, I find that asking them to put their hands on their hearts really helps. Put your hand on your heart, I'll say, and close your eyes. What does your heart say you should do in this moment? What does your heart say about that? And it's fascinating. Kids can be very intuitive. We just have to guide them to find that quiet voice of intuition, of heart. Well, five empowering phrases to teach your kids. And I gave you a bonus. Let me recap. Number one, people won't remember what you said. People won't remember what you did, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. Number two, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. And nobody can make you feel angry, frustrated, sad, or anything else without your consent. Number three, what they think of you is none of your business. Number four, saying no often allows you to say a more powerful yes. Number five, all good things are on the other side of fear. And bonus, a question, what does your heart say? Try teaching your kids these phrases and see what comes of it. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again next week. Until then, take care. Thanks for listening to the Vibrant Happy Women podcast at www.jenriday.com.